These are annular cutters. And if you're not using these in your mill or your drill press, I really think you're missing out. These are kind of like a hole saw, but a lot less screeching and smoking its way through the material. They cut out a circular hole, and instead of turning the entire slug into chips, they cut out a circle. So in my opinion, they're much more efficient than using a drill bit for larger diameter holes. So these particular ones are designed for a mag drill. And I usually watch these on eBay because they're not particularly cheap. And how they work is these flats are for set screws inside the collar of the mag drill. What you do is you slide this locating pin in the back and then put this into the mag drill, tighten the set screws, and you use this point to locate your center punch mark on the steel. As you're plunging into the steel, this retracts up until the shaft of the mag drill, which has a spring behind it. And when you get through the material, the spring pushes on the slug and it ejects the slug from the bottom of the annual cutter. So this pin serves two purposes, locating your center punch mark and ejecting the slug. And I really like that feature and I want to be able to use that in my milling machine. This is how I've been doing it. And this works great other than you can't utilize the locating feature and the slug ejection of this pin. So I'd like to make an adapter that does that. I wanted to make this out of something harder than just mild or cold rolled steel. Not necessarily because I didn't think it would be strong enough, but more for the set screw threads. A lot of times I've made things and when you're constantly using threads over and over again, they seem to get worn out or wallowed out on mild steel. So I bought this, a chunk of 4140 pre-hardened. It's inch and a quarter in diameter. It was supposed to be 25 Rockwell. So we're gonna go ahead and see what it is. So this is saying that this is around 40, 40 C. I don't use this thing that often. So when I do, I always, uh, I always test it with a standard first. And I checked it before we did this test and it was right on.
I realized at this point that all of these features are internal. And so I just had a bunch of footage of me sticking different tools inside that hole. And I figured I better show you guys what's going on inside. So here's what the inside of this thing looks like. There's a little plug here at the bottom and a set screw at the top which capture the spring on the inside. But there has to be a hole on the bottom that's small enough for the locating pin to pass through, but not large enough for this plug to fall out. Thank you.